Oh, it shouldn't take us too long, you think? It's kind of nice to have everything all pre-cut and ready to go. I'll grab this heater here. Here you go. Here in the basement, we framed for a third bathroom and an area for the sauna right back here. We had a plumber come and run all the necessary drain pipes before we poured the concrete floor, and we gone ahead and tiled that floor. We chose a preset pattern of one-by-one one mosaic tiles in midnight blue with rosettes of jade and almond. A few days ago, we used thin-set mortar to secure the tiles to the concrete, which provided a level surface for tiling. This pattern comes in sheets pre-spaced for the proper grout lines, so laying the ceramic tile was pretty straightforward. After letting the thin set dry overnight, we finished the floors with grout, working the mixture into the grout lines and wiping the surface clean of any residue. We chose a mushroom color grout here to highlight the darker background tiles. We laid this rosin paper down to protect our new tile floor, and we got this jetted tub in place before finishing our framing. Nailed up some backer board, and then we tiled over the backer board with 4x4 four four tiles, and these match the almond colored tile that we have in the floor. <coughs> Later on, we're going to put paneling all over the walls, and it'll match the wood that's in the sauna. The sauna itself doesn't require insulation, but we're going to install R19 on all the basement walls because we plan on heating the entire basement. We want to get this insulation up before we begin the sauna installation. So I'll pad up, we can go ahead and start. Now, because this is a prefab unit, we should be able to put it together in about 90 minutes. The two-inch boards we're using here are Nordic white spruce, and they're known as logs. That's because they're notched out here on the corners and go together pretty much like a log home. The first thing we want to do is lay out all of our baseboards and get those leveled in. The baseboards are unique because of this notch here, which later on we'll use to pull all of the boards together. There you go. These together pretty nicely, don't they? You want your base frame to be level. Well, that looks good. And if your floor's off a little bit, you can just shim underneath the base. Yeah, that looks good there, too. All right, well, you ready for one? Yeah, take that in. Now we start putting on the rest of the logs. They've got tons of wedges for a snug fit. The logs are all cut to size at the factory. And the long ones form the sidewalls, and these shorter ones are going to frame the door opening in front. This one has three vent holes that are cut into it. They go just above the base. From here, we just work our way up. The sauna measures 80 by 80 inches, which is large enough for six people sitting or three reclining. There's no problem setting it over tile, since heat rises during a sauna and the floor stays cool. After the third round is in, we install the threaded stabilizing rods in the holes provided. The following logs then slide down there. over the rods. In the fifth round, we lay in the wall log with three holes for the second vent. Putting it there provides good ventilation. Adding more logs takes us up to the top of the door opening, which is capped off with a full-length log. From there, we continue up to the top of the sauna. It's 79 inches high to fit under most existing ceilings. The last logs are planked flat on top. Here we go. With the walls done, we tighten nuts down over the top and bottom of the threaded rods. That draws the logs together and secures them firmly. There is some settling, so you should re-tighten them after about four to six weeks. To support the ceiling, we screw cold molding into the logs two and three quarters inches below the top. These should be level. We lay a strip of insulated tape across the top of the cold molding, and now we're ready for the ceiling panels. They come in two halves, and they're insulated as well. Okay, yeah. Now once we get it in position, and all squared up, we'll be securing both halves by screwing into the cold molding. Corner. Yep. Yeah. The edge of the second ceiling piece interlocks with the first, there and they go. both drop into place. Now 
the walls and ceiling are done, we can go ahead and set our benches in place, secure our heater, and hang the door in its opening. We've now left some interior trim around the door here, laid in a couple of accessories, and that is going to do it for the assembly of the sauna. Now, pretty soon, we'll be able to hook up the heater and start enjoying this Finnish national pastime. Right now, we're going to finish the walls. The manufacturer of this sauna provides Nordic white spruce that matches the sauna exactly. That's what we'll be using in here. Now, we waited until the sauna was in position before we finished framing and paneling around it. That's what we're all set to work on now. Like the paneling upstairs, these are also tongue and groove boards, which we start at the bottom with the tongue up and nail in perpendicular to the wall studs. But these are one by four boards to match the size of the sauna log. Redwood and cedar are also common in the construction of saunas, but this lighter Nordic white spruce brightens up both the sauna and the surrounding area. We're covering all the walls in this area with the paneling, so it's definitely going to take several more hours down here in the basement. 